American families are confronting harsh financial realities of late, from rising unemployment and sluggish wage growth to high food and fuel costs and tight credit. Added to these worries are soaring health care costs, and the severe erosion of adequate health coverage. The Trump administration's efforts to dismantle the Affordable Care Act are making health insurance less affordable and less accessible, and will almost certainly increase the number of Americans struggling with medical debt. State policymakers can and should act now to protect consumers from crushing medical debt and aggressive debt collection practices. Medical debt accrues when a patient must pay for care that isn't covered by insurance or is only partly covered. It is one of the most common types of consumer debt. A Consumer Financial Protection Bureau study found that 20% of Americans have at least one medical debt collection item in their credit reports, and more than half of collection items on credit reports are for medical debts. To collect these debts, health care providers and collection agencies sometimes use aggressive collection techniques, ranging from reporting the debt to credit reporting agencies to making frequent phone calls demanding repayment or even garnishing patients' wages or filing liens on their homes. When a doctor sees you in the hospital they get $30 to lay you in the bed while physician examines you, minimum $1,000. That's only the bed, nothing else, anything extra is another charge, if you have appendectomy for appendicitis. The hospital gets $60,000 to $200,000 the surgeon $300, all money flows to large corporations insurance companies and hospitals, hospital charges $50 for a single Tylenol pill. Insurance company charges you $1,000 per month for nothing, when you go into hospital, it's your deductible, co-pay, non-covered charges, not only are you cheated by large corporations doctors cheated worse than you. Government programs do nothing but make everything cost more. Healthcare wasn't so ridiculously costly until the 1970s when Medicare and Medicaid took off and Richard Nixon completely severed the dollar from the gold standard to pay for those programs and more. Obamacare does nothing but makes matters worse, not to mention Republicans' Medicare Part D, that expanded Medicare by many billions. These are massive taxes and you don't get anything affordable by taxing what's productive in order to subsidize what's not productive. Health insurance is a scam now, that's what happens when you allow the insurance industry to write your health care reform. No one would have imagined even just 10 years ago, that $2,000 deductibles would be the norm. Obamacare absolutely destroyed the ability of self-employed people to receive medical care. You're now paying around $18,000 a year just in premiums and deductibles before even getting to stick your tongue out to say ah. The medical industry, like many other good old-fashioned American industries is criminally predatory. Considering medical mistakes and infections kill more people than tobacco allegedly does these days, I wonder if there should be a Surgeon General's warning outside each hospital. Healthcare is one of the most insidious parasitic businesses ever developed in this country. Yes, we need doctors and drugs. But we shouldn't have to pay 20 plus percent of our GDP for it. The costs are outrageous to say the least, and getting worse. Obamacare, or whatever the hell it is called, seemed to kick the profiteering into high gear. Even if single payer passes someday, a long shot at best, it will be really difficult to force these cartels to play along. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.